Okay, and what is up everybody? It is your boy Fred. Thank you once again for tuning in. All right, so pretty much in today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you how to organize and import tracks um, for mixing in FL Studio, right? So either you can apply these techniques to starting off a session because obviously I'll be um, running through a few essentials that you'll need when working with waveforms in FL Studio. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I like to do, you can see I've already saved this session. I've never heard this, this track before. So what I like to do is pretty much just create a folder with artist name or whatever, the date, you know what I mean? You want to keep your things clean cut. I've got the date right there. If you're recording other people or mixing other people, it's so essential to uh, keep things all Organized, because that way, if someone ever requests something, you can say, "All right, cool, that happened in March." You can go back to your folder in March. You don't want your folders to be looking like a mess. But anyway, um, so what I'll do right now, obviously, I've got these tracks somewhere right here. I've never listened to them. We'll import them now. If you are rapping in a full studio or just starting off a session, it's really important to set the BPM prior to even importing or starting your recording and i'll show you the reason why later but if you i'm visually able to kind of you know uh, eyeball the bpm but if you're not what i recommend is just um downloading this mixmeister there's a free version of this just look for the free version it's this orange one right here the paid version looks purple or something like that but you just want to download this and then you can pretty much then just uh drag and drop your instrumental and then I like to work half time. So you can either just go to 155. I'm gonna go to half of this, which is 77.5, I think. So yeah, we will firstly set our BPM to that, right? So we'll go 77.5. There you go, 0.5. Okay, that's half time. I don't ask why, it's just easier to visually see things. But anyway, so what we'll do is we'll import our tracks then. And I, I like to import them not to here, but to here so that everything gets renamed um, as it should be. So let that do its thing. All right, cool. So. The first thing I'm always looking for, right, when looking at BPM is, does the kick drum hit at the right place? Now I can see right there, it's supposed to hit at bar nine. It's supposed to hit right there, but it's not, right? There's a little gap right there. Cause I can see, I can visually see that's the kick drum, right? You know, after a while, you're gonna start to learn that. These are synths right here, instruments. You know, these, these look like vocals, you know, and then you've got your drums. So that's how we're gonna tell if things are synced or not. Now, I can tell that this is an MP3 and generally MP3s have a bit of the noise. Now this is the noise, right? That's basically there to, I think, just to pretty much keep distortion away because if you're listening to a song on a cell phone or whatever, you don't want two songs to collide, you know, one after the other. So you want a little bit of time um, of nothingness, right? So I'm gonna cut that away. I'm gonna zoom all the way in, right, as much as possible. And then I'm just gonna start dragging. And I'm gonna drag all the way up to the point where the actual beat starts. I'm gonna ignore that little bump right there. That doesn't matter. Boom. All right. And as you can see, I've selected everything. So let me undo what I've done right there. Go all the way back. Um, as you can see, I wanna highlight everything. So I'm pretty much just pressing control. Oh, whoops. Oh my gosh. I use like an old school mouse and it does get stuck once in a while. All right, there we go. So as you can see right there, I was holding in the control and then just dragging, left click dragging. And then that allows me to quickly use the select tool without actually going and, and clicking on select tool. That's really slow uh, work. And go check out my Hackman video and I will show you a lot of shortcuts. It's a really old video on how to uh, use shortcuts and stuff in FL. But anyway, let's drag, pull that all the way there. Everything has been pulled. And now I can actually see that that kick drum starts exactly on bar nine. And, and, and if we want to look at the hook, right? Boom, there we go. It's, it's eight bars exactly, right? Four, eight. Um, the intro is eight bars exactly you know what i mean from nine there you go you know what i mean you can you can start to really this just helps you visually see what's going on within the song you know if you need to copy paste the chorus you know now we can actually copy paste choruses easily you know what i mean it's, it's easy i don't even have to listen to the song all right boom there, that's where the chorus starts you know what i mean this is a fact all right there's no sync drift there's nothing it's just verse chorus easy peasy you know what i mean then i can just um you know, cut the track where necessary and all that. But anyway, let's continue with um, what else, what well, what we have going on right here. So now, what I want to do is pretty much send stuff to the mixer. But the first thing I'm going to do is pretty much uh, color code everything, right? So let's go over here to our playlist area. Now, what I like to do is just have all of my main vocals sit on top of all the doubles. So what that means is this is fine because we've got the ad libs or the double under the main vocal, right? Um. So what I like to do right here is just pull this up. So what I'm doing right there is just pressing anything underscored is a shortcut, right? So I'm pressing the 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 right click and then U, right? Right click and then D, you know what I mean? Just go and check out all the underscores or shortcuts which you can use. Um, so yeah, 
there we go, everything's organized. I can see all the verses are there. Everything that is a hook is there. Now what I wanna do is just color code stuff, right? So we've got our hook, boom, boom. Now what I'm doing right here is just right clicking. So left click just to select one and then right click and drag to select all. So there we go, I've right clicked. And then now I wanna to go to color selected gradient and then let's go for blue, right? So that's cool, blue, blue, there we go. Now for the hooks, right? I just wanna go ahead and do the same thing, right? Left click on, on what I wanna select and then right click and drag everything else. So there we go, let's give this a green color, right? Cool, there we go, it's a green. And boom, now we've got some cool colors going. Now we can rename or just press Control A, Control A or right click A, my bad, as you can see right there, auto name has been underscored, so that's a shortcut. And then boom, there we go, right? So now what we can do is just make sure everything is as it was. Um, how do I move this up again? This is control, this is alt and up to move things up and down, but there you go. So now what I can do is I can, you know, right click and then hold and do all that stuff. And then I wanna go to the mixer, go to track one, insert one, press control shift L. Boom, and there we go. You know, now it's kind of looking like what I usually have in my session. So there we go, you know, and from there on out, what we can start doing then is um, all of our main vocals, for example, right? We can then send to a certain channel. Control, left click, boom. So now we've got main vocal, and then all of our main vocals are coming out there. Any backgrounds we have, let's just call them BG vocals, right? Ad-libs, all that kind of stuff. We can then just go ahead and, and have them as buses or groups so that we can save on CPU power because then all I really have to do is um, is, is add the auto tunes over here, right? And if there's anything really bad going on, I can just, you know, fix it with a bit of EQ right here and then mix them as a whole, you know what I mean? Because then we just have our instrumental, our main vocals and group vocals and that's it, you know what I mean? Hopefully that opens your eyes. I did go a bit fast, but I, I need people to work fast and that kind of thing, you know what I mean? So. It is your boy Fry. Hope you learned something. I'll check you out in the next video. Uh, this is how to do this. And boom, there you go. You're looking real professional right here. All right. So yeah, <laughs> happy mixing. Peace.